Hello Scorpio, welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for the end of December 2020. This is a love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Angels, divine spirits, and guides, come on in and help me deliver messages to my Scorpio friends. Okay. Three of Wands in the center of your reading, sign of Aries. So that is waiting for something, looking for something, expecting something, possibly long distance travel over oceans and waters because the Three of Wands is about distant lands. Three of Cups, two threes to start off with. Okay, so we have a group of friends a celebration you looking for your friends might be far away all three people have their turn back turned here it's like this is so funny it's like you're looking for them and they're looking for you <laughs> i don't know maybe that resonates with someone <laughs> Uh, that's the sign of Cancer. Five of Pentacles, sign of Taurus. Feeling left out in the cold, but having the key to open the door and free yourself from a situation. This could also talk about financial difficulty and possibly not having enough money to travel or go to see someone. Your fan This could even be your sisters. Two of Cups in the past. So you were with this person in the past, or this is someone that you really love, really miss, really want to be with. Could be a soulmate. Hmm. Um, very similar to Libra. Libra had those two cards. All right, let's see. Let's get these cards out of the center of the deck here. Five of Swords. Hmm, you look like you have a headache or you're tired of thinking. Someone talk too much? <laughs> Your friends talk too much? Where is this reading going? This is funny. Okay, so um, you look like you're really thinking about something. The Five of Swords to me is winning something but losing something in the process. So there may be some type of sacrifice or something that you need to make in order to get what you want hmm this is a reunion a distant reunion someone who's far away eight of pentacles sign of virgo so that is putting an effort into a situation working on something do you miss the people you used to work with hmm all right Four of Cups, you could have had a relationship at work as well. Four of Cups, I'm sad, I'm bored, and I want something more. I just don't feel fulfilled in my life. I'm not happy. Hmm. The Roller Attitude of Others, Seven of Swords. Interesting. So you were forced to leave a relationship due to some type of deception. And you're not happy about it. And you miss the group that came along with this relationship, whatever it was. I got somebody with this. These crows are like, ah! Like, I don't know. I feel like somebody's naggy or loud or obnoxious or getting on your nerves. Ten of Cups sign of Pisces, the happily ever after card. I'm hoping to be happy. I'm hoping to possibly be with a new group or I'm hoping that since I left that situation, this, I will have my happily ever after. Eight of Wands, communication and travel. All right. And that's also something that happens very quickly. I don't like the Seven of Swords and Five of Swords coming up in the same reading. And the Five of Pentacles. I feel like somebody might even have gotten ripped off or some type of deception at work even. 
Knight of Wands. All right. Taking action and going in a new direction. Putting your efforts, putting your, yeah, efforts elsewhere. Six of Swords. Well, you're just clearly moving on from something. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Whoops. Sorry, guys. All right. So that just lays the foundation for the reading. Let's uh, clarify every one of these cards and see what is going on here. Show me this Three of Wands for Scorpio, please. Three of Wands for Scorpio. Nine of Wands. Being guarded, irritated, and annoyed. Also tired. You're tired of dealing with a situation, so you had to turn your back and look towards the future. Show me the Three of Cups, please. This is the challenge position, so I feel like there's something up with these this group or these people or show me this three of cups please for Scorpio all right four of pentacles holding on someone being greedy huh that's my greedy and selfish card also, holding back, not expressing feelings, holding on to money. What's with the Five of Pentacles, Four of Wands? Oh, that's somebody getting kicked out. Or somebody moved out. The Five of Pentacles would be kicked out. It's hard time, hard financial difficulties brought on by their own doing. Someone may, got, may have gotten laid off here and they're working from home on the, on the internet. Show me the Two of Cups. Two of Swords. A decision to make about a relationship. A very difficult decision to make. That's my stalemate. And then that is my ghosted, huh? You ghosted somebody who did you wrong here. That's for sure. It was very, very difficult for you to do. But somebody must have really broke your heart or upset you in some way. You could have even gotten rejected here. This Four of Cups. The High Priestess. Working on following your intuition. Just trusting the universe. High Priestess has been coming out a lot. Temperance. You're healing. You're healing from what happened. There's that. Oof. That's one heck of a combination, five of swords, seven of swords. I mean, you're dealing with somebody that's brutal over here. Someone is so determined to win and have what they want that they didn't care that they lost you in the process. It has something to do with being greedy. There's something about housing assistance here. You just said housing assistance. Show me the Ten of Cups, please, for Scorpio. Ace of Swords. And one more. You're hoping for some type of a new beginning and a happy ending. Show me the Eight of Wands. You could be, like, in limbo right now, just healing and waiting. Like, you know, I feel like something just ended for you. Got Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords, Two of Wands, and the Page of Swords. I just want one card for that. Eight of Wands, please. That's too many, Spirit. Can I have one card for the Eight of Wands for Scorpio? You could be waiting on communication. Like something ended for you and you're kind of in limbo. And yeah, you're going to start something new here. You're manifesting something new communication a lot of internet stuff here someone might be working on the internet ten of swords that was a painful ending the nail in the coffin you know it hurt but it's over the darkness before the dawn i feel like you're on your way to happiness and feeling better than you know whatever that was 
I feel like you're manifesting something new that's going to have long-term, um, that's going to be a long-term commitment and you're happily ever after. Now, you may not, because if you're in a healing phase, you may not be with anyone right now, honestly, because I feel like you're really healing from whatever happened here. Let's get you a couple of island time wellness because the hermit would be someone who's alone thinking you know the hermit shining his light on that five of swords so you could have been dealing yeah making healthy choices and love and life self-love self-care being happier you're better off without this person whatever it was whatever even if you were the one that got rejected or somebody cheated or whatever they did clarity i mean you got clarity over here you know that now that the relationship is over and you're on the outside looking in you know yeah you might be looking at their pictures but maybe the relationship wasn't so great anyway learning from the past you're you have wisdom now you've grown you're not going to make those mistakes again show me one more you may have something of this person's if you do throw it in the trash <laughs> that's what i say don't no, look, look, narcissist, self-observed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. You gave everything that you could to this person. You didn't get anything in return but this. Deception, backstabbing, betrayal, someone who didn't even want to hear what you had to say, possibly dealing with a player. Mm. Yeah, this, this isn't such a nice reading, Scorpio. Whoever it is, I'm glad that you're away from them. Show me Scorpio, please. So the Scorpio got any new love coming in after all of this? All right. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Show me Scorpio, please. So you're still in this situation? Show me Scorpio, please. Oh, it's work. Eight of Pentacles, finances and career. Time to look for another job, Scorpio. Show me one more. <laughs> Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So somebody's torn. Something happened to you. So this could even be a love relationship at work. I like to always point that out. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Something, I feel like something may have happened with someone's employment here. They were either dating a coworker or dating their boss or something to that effect. And it ended. And now somebody might be stuck in this situation. And they need to make a decision to free their self possibly find a new job if it was a neighbor like there's something here about maybe somebody has to actually move from their neighborhood because this gemini's the uh the neighborhood um i'm sorry mercury it's the neighborhood anyway it doesn't matter it, someone may need to actually physically move from their neighborhood to get away from a person because there's a lot of movement here eight of wands six of swords knight of swords all right let's pull um i'm gonna pull you one final message from the spell casting oracle deck hopefully you got something out of this reading today I do feel like something is over and you have an opportunity to start something new, but I feel like you need to take some action or something. Fertility. Okay. That could also be about growing something. Let's see. Fertility. This marks a very fertile time for you. If you've been working on a new idea or project, 
you can be sure that your creative power is stirring within and is ready to be birthed. You just need to nurture your brilliant ideas by keeping your expectations positive. Patience is a big challenge if you want to see results. Remain heartened, heart in, yeah, heartened. I don't know, that's a weird word, and encouraged, for this is when all the magic is happening in the background. It may take a little time, but success await you as you trust in divine timing. All good things come to those who wait, and remember that great things come from small beginnings. So something new is growing for you. I like that. Something may have happened here that forced you into a new... One of those say force, no, one-sided relationship. See, something may have happened here that forced you to leave something, but you're moving into something better. Something is growing inside of you here. A long-awaited pregnancy is confirmed. A birth is announced. Acknowledge your ideas. A new venture will be successful. Your hard work, hard work will pay off. It's time to celebrate. Three of Cups, celebrate. So, hmm, I don't know. Looks looks like a pretty good ending to me, Scorpio, if you choose to free yourself from something. But I am going to leave that there. Thank you so much for watching, Scorpio. Good luck with your situation, and I will see you soon.